All right. So if you're a guest at a casino, I just want you to know that you are never right. You're never going to win an argument with the floor supervisor. The dealer shouldn't even argue with you. Uh, as soon as you start whining and complaining because the dealer didn't give you enough time to buy insurance after you already checked for blackjack, he shouldn't argue with you. He should just call his floor supervisor over. The floor supervisor should tell you, oh, sorry about your luck, you lost. And that's how that goes. Nothing is ever going to be ruled in your favor. The casino does not care about you at all. At all. Not even a little bit. In fact, the casino does not even care about their employees. Every single one of us is expendable. They don't need you. They don't care about you. And they're sure as fuck not going to put up with you not showing up to work on time every day. So casinos fire their employees all the time and they don't care. They deny PTO all the time and don't care. I've worked at a casino for two years. I've never had PTO approved ever. I've started to just call in now. You're allowed to get 15 points before they fire you. Monday through Friday, call in is worth one point. Saturday and Sunday, you call in, it's worth three points. So you can call in up to 15 times in one year before they fire you. So I don't even put in PTO anymore because I know it's gonna get disapproved. And then I just call in. So, if the casino doesn't care about their employees, why would they care about you? They don't. So bitching to a floor supervisor, like the guy at my table did yesterday, is going to get you nowhere. The floor supervisor, or the pit manager, or whoever you talk to is going to lie to you, just so that, that they can walk away. They don't care about your whiny, complaining attitude. They don't care that you lost $1,000. They're not going to go yell at their floor supervisor, who did exactly the same thing that he was going to do. Um, he's going to tell you, yeah, I'll go talk to him. Sure, I'll go talk to him. Yep, yep, I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I'll go talk to him. And then he's going to walk over to him, and he's going to be like, hey, fucking Bob over there uh, said you were being mean to him, so I'm just over here pretending to talk to you so it looks like I'm doing something. I really don't care. So... I, you know, maybe I'm going to point my finger at you and then I'm going to walk away. But just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. That's how that conversation is going to go. I've had those said to me before. I asked a guy who was betting $2,000 a hand if all he does is bitch. Or if he's ever happy. And he started freaking the fuck out. Did you just call me a bitch? No, I didn't. But apparently you're so fucking retarded that's what you heard. And then my floor supervisor told me that uh, I don't really like that guy either, so I'm going to point at you, I'm going to pretend like I fucking am yelling at you, tell me what you said to him because I'm curious. So I tell him and he goes, oh that's funny shit, alright, go back to the table, just try not to talk to him anymore for the rest of the day. Alright, fine, perfect, whatever. So when you have a complaint at the casino, nobody gives a fuck, nobody cares even a little bit. Not one ounce of anybody that works at that casino gives a fuck about you. Okay? So just know that when you're at the casino, you're never right, you're going to lose, and nobody likes you. No, that's not totally true. I like some of the players that come, but I only like them if they tip. We got some of the nicest people in the world that come and take up valuable real estate at the tables nicest fucking people in the world and I hate them why do I hate them because they don't tip if I'm dealing with Texas Hold'em and I give you four of a kind and you don't tip guess what I don't need you at my table you're taking up a spot that somebody else could sit at that could possibly tip me because yeah I work for tips that's all I care about that's the only reason I go to work is for tips so if you're not tipping guess what after like three shoes of you winning and not tipping, and I have a 17, I'm gonna hit that 17 just to change shit up. Just in hopes that you lose. Cause I don't want you sitting at my table. Plain and simple. 